Ho guys, so Jerry speaking. Welcome to OJPC for 1432. Today we're reacting to um Case Clubhouse Season 3 Episode 5. Now, um, five code for kindness. Anyway, now this is a special LGBT ads episode that I have to catch up on. This is the first out of the two Mr. Case Clubhouse episodes that I need to catch up on. By the way, and then we'll get to the Miss Case Club um Storybook on uh, Station Podcast episode for the next two episodes. And then after these three episodes, okay? This is going to be the last three episodes of 2023. Because after this, it'll be, it'll be an exciting LGBTS episode on the Brian Steve Show Season 11 Finale. If you watch this, Alex, it's for you. And then we'll wrap up for 2020, um... And it will, be, it will be the start of 2024 for LJP3 Act. So there you go on that. Let's react to this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Wow. Oh, guess what I have here? It's a gift for you. Get oh, it. that was nice. That was nice, Mr. K. Good job. Because he won. Present is a great way to be thoughtful and mm. show you care. Okay. In fact. Today, we're going to learn about lots of ways to be thoughtful. Mm. Which reminds me, it's mm. time to open your gift. Ooh. Well, that was nice. Oh, hang on. Let me turn it down a little bit. Hmm. Since it's already nighttime, why don't I take this one? Anyway, continue on. Good job. Anyway. Huh. Wow. Oh. Is that going to play tag? Okay. Continue on. Wow. Oh, hi. Glad you could come by the clubhouse. Are you mm -hmm. ready to play with us today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, well. Looks like Tanya and Sabrina certainly are. Wow, they are. Okay. Wow, okay. They are superheroes, okay? I'm gonna do play tag for some reason, okay? Get to you on. But maybe you should play outside. You don't want to trip over anything inside the clubhouse. Exactly, Mr. K. Exactly. Get to you on. That's true. Then I guess we're going to the great outdoors. Wow. Okay, have fun. Yeah, have fun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Joking! Get to you on. <laughs> you okay? Are you alright? I tripped. Tripped over what? This. Wow. Wow. Huh? You okay over there? Looks like a present. Wow. How fascinating. Oh, and there's huh. a note attached. Okay, Jido. Who's it from, Mr. K? Well, let's read the note and see. Wow. It says, Dear Mr. K, Baking biscuits from the bounty of my beautiful berry bed, and since you have a soft spot for scones, I wanted to swing these over. Enjoy pickle pop pops. Oh yeah, that that character. Okay, it's a no. Okay, T1. Why is Papa giving you a present? Did we forget your birthday? I didn't get you anything. No, no, no. It's not my birthday. He was just being thoughtful. Hmm. Wow. Well, Yeah, exactly. And a great way to do that is giving a gift to a friend. Uh-huh. Cause I got a lot of love. 
Watch Mr. K. Yeah, it was it was amazing for um this girl and his his her, her brother to make more sense. It's kind of thoughtful. Continue on. Thank you. Bye. 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 Um, I'm gonna go check it out. Enjoy the phones, everyone. Bye bye. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry about that. It, it's some difficulties on my end. I'm from Chrome. Okay. Let's continue with left, left off, shall we? So we got four. Anyway, come on. Uh, sorry, to say Anthony. Made for kids' content. Anyway, move on. He's Bell me. Oh, you're right, Eddie. I'm gonna go check it out. Enjoy the phones, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Wow. Hey, Speedy. Uh, what? Speedy? Wow. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Oh, that's where he is. It looks like Speedy has a big delivery to make. Let's go take a look. Okay, right here on to Disney. Okay. Oh, oh. What happened? Are you okay, Speed? Speedy, what's going on? Oh, hey, Mr. Dodo. Are you okay, Mr. K? Excuse me. Speed? Yeah. Yeah, you might have tripped over by a, by a thud. I don't know. Continue on. That cabbage hole. This is what David used, my friend David said Dennis was to say. You know, David Files Network. Yeah. Dad Nabbit. Yeah, it makes more sense. Continue on. The fourth time someone's called me that this week. Oh, um, Speedy, are you all right? Yeah, I'm just fine. Today's deliveries are just really heavy. Oh, instead of... Incidentally, this one's for you. Ooh, you're not kidding. What's in here? Notebooks. They're perfect for drawing pictures or writing things down in. Oh, nice. I bet everyone will have fun 
Wong beats. Wong. Oh, good to hear. But I better get these back to the truck. They may be heavy, but they won't slow me down. <laughs> oh. Should we draw for some reason? Are you okay, Mr. Speedy? Man, whoever dropped these, yeah, they're heavy. Just be careful, Speedy. Continue on. Too soon. Oh, getting these back on my cart will take forever. Yeah. Maybe not. What if I help you put them back? Some extra hands will make the job go faster. Um, exactly. You know what? You just may be right. Riding your bike or cleaning your room As a friend I will help you Giving big hugs whenever you feel down You know I'll always be around Cause friends help friends, yep that's true You help me and I'll help you The world will be a kinder place When we help someone out today Holding the door when your hands are full Sharing my goggles when we play at the pool. Oh. Holding your hand when we cross the street. Friends help friends, and that's really neat. Cause friends help friends, yep, that's true. Oh. You help me and I'll help you. The world will be a kinder place when we help someone out today. Wow. Oh, friends help friends, yep, that's true. You help me and I'll help you. The world will be a kinder place when we help someone out today. The world will be a kinder place when we help someone out today. Oh, gee. Thanks for helping me stack these boxes back onto my cart. It was very thoughtful of you. Wow. You're welcome, Speedy. <laughs> After all, friends help friends. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it really is a great way to show you. Now, I really have to get the rest of these notebooks delivered. I hate to be written up. <laughs> wow. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Speedy. Come on. Let's go back inside. Okay. Wow. Maybe we could. Hmm. What if we... Oh, how about we... Nah. Wow. Should we ask someone else for an idea? Scare Mr. K to death. Come on. What do you want? Question. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, we want to do something fun, but we don't know what. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, we can't think of anything. Really? There's lots oh. of things you can do in the clubhouse. Uh huh. Uh, I want to delete a book, but Tanya likes me to go watch a movie. And I want to play checkers, but Sabrina wants to play basketball. Yeez! Kids are kids, man. What do you want? And I wanted to go out for a burger, but Tanya wanted to go out for a milkshake. No wonder you two can't decide. All of your ideas sound like opposites. Yeah, opposites! Exactly! You know, makes sense. Mm -hmm. But you could make a game out of it. How would you do that? Oh, like this. Opposite words are fun. Hold on. That is way too out of my TV. Anyway, what do you want? Totally different things. Let's play a game. And you'll see what I mean. I'll say a word. You tell me what the opposite is. It's not wow. too hard, but you gotta be quick. Hmm. Let's play it now. I'll say bottom, you say top. I'll say cold, you say hot. I'll say a little, you say a lot. You're doing great, let's not stop. I'll say up, you say down. I'll say smile, you say frown. I'll say later and you say now. We can find opposites all around. There are so many 
Wow. Exactly. Well, that's when people want different things. Mm -hmm. They agree on something else that they can both enjoy. Yes. Even if it means not get, getting exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Like meeting in the middle? That's right. And the best part is, when you compromise, you're thinking of someone else's feelings. Yes. It's a very thoughtful thing to do. Uh -huh. Mr. K, I just have one more question. What's the opposite of compromise? I don't know. Um, I need it more. Which is it? You're sweet. That is. You guys enjoy your game. I'm going to find out what's up. Okay. Bye, Mr. K. Oh, Yuck said goodbye. It's hello. Wow. It's so boring. At least you have captains in my game. Oh, please. You have retconned your game plot five times already. A loose cannon means you can actually be creative. Wow. Mr. Too busy being preachy to make the story interesting. Oh, sorry. It's slow burn and he wants to realistic for you with your magical powers and lasers. Wow, a sentence without technobabble? What's next? Memorable characters? Oh, I see. Story over spectacle as I lost on you. Oh, Yay! Oh, I forgot escaping reality was a crime. Better go with that. Hey, Tomas, what's going on? We can't decide who gets the spaceship. What are you talking about? See, I'm playing Expedition to Enceladus. That's one of Saturn's moons. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Zerpoids vs. Galgadons. Battle for Nandor 5. We're both playing games that need a spaceship. Okay, I see. And my game needs it more, so it belongs with me. Me and your sueños. I'm the one who should have it. Right, Mr. K? Well, actually, I... <laughs> He's on my side, just like that spaceship should be. No, he's not. Mr. K is a man of taste. Don't uh... back me up on this. Wait, guys. Exactly, Mr. K. Guys, continue on. You need to stop arguing if oh. you're going to figure this out, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. So, both of you want to play with the spaceship, right? Mm -hmm. But remember how this is one of the clubhouse toys? It doesn't yeah. belong to just one person. It's for everybody to share. Yes! Yes! Thank you. And if you both want to play with it, Sharing is the best way to do that. Uh -huh. Sharing? Well, sure. It's fun to share with your friends. That's why I shared my scones earlier. You know something, Mr. K? I, I used to share when I was a... Well, I don't share that much with crayons and drawings when I was... Eight, well, I was it? I don't know how old am I when, at the time. Miss Paul told me this. You need to share. And I... I like okay fine. I need to share to my brother. Okay, that's fine. The crayons, but okay. If I had to share this with my brother, and most if you most watching this, I have to tell him that. But okay, then. But he needs to do something. But then I have to say, whatever I share the crayons with my brother, that would be nice. But whatever I can do something about it, that would be also nice. But this, okay. That is also, that needs to be sharing. Why bother? Continue on. Uh, sharing with us was very, um, what was the word? Thoughtful of you. Yes. Hey, Casey, but, wait, Mr. K, you had enough scones for everyone, but there's two of us and only one spaceship. Uh, how are we going to share just one toy? Well, easy. You take turns. Yes, take turns. Thank you, Mr. K. Do you want the spaceship for a while, and then the other one plays with it? I don't know. This could be hard. Well, sometimes sharing is hard, mm -hmm. but it's how you make sure it's fair for everyone. Mm. You may be on to something. Yeah, and if we take turns, we can both have fun. Exactly. Uh-huh. I guess we can give it a try. Right, Tomas? Absolutely. Well, if that means you're all set, I'll leave you to your game. Okay, yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know I know the song will get catchier. Is this a dragon or something? Okay. And yeah, that kind of reminds me of a banana duck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That the clubhouse toys is a banana duck. T1.
God. videos or in the, in the video but I'm like yeez how's that gonna help to see one don't worry I'm sure they'll understand um okay get well soon wow well. No. Then where is she? She she said she'd come here as a story today. Oh, that's what I came to tell you. I was just talking to her on the phone and she actually can't make it today. Huh? That's weird. Say he never misses story time. She even came during a blizzard. Does that mean something's wrong? Is she in trouble? <laughs> no, no. She's not in trouble. Okay, Paso. Yeah. We heard a dramatic sting. No. Say in no. No. We need to help her. Oh, oh goodness. Well, don't worry. We're here to help. Right, Eddie? Hey, everyone. It's not that serious. She's just sick. She's sick? Yeah, she has the flu and she isn't feeling well. So she can Yeah, and I agree. Though, well, the reason why, because when I, during taping of the, ep the same episode, she got COVID. You know? Um. Last year, or earlier last year... Uh, if you saw my videos back last year, um, I tested COVID positive, you know, just to make more sense, you know, um, I just don't know what to say next, um, to say when release, but I felt worried for Mr. K for say Sparkles, just to make sense about what's going on, I ha I've had to spell worry because, um, but in a matter of sense, Get well soon, say Sparkles. Um, just to see what's going on, see how much she's sick, and see what's going on. But, but you know, I was the same thing with her back uh, sometimes in this taping wise. You know, you know when I was sick, uh, back in twenty twenty two with co of the late December of COVID. I talked about this earlier in the episode, but um. I know this is made for kids content, but you know, don't get me wrong, but, um, um, like I said, Mr. K, if you're watching this, um, I have to go with, uh, a, uh, head cold, you know, to make sense in any way. And it's a, it's a, it's maybe something wrong with me. I have to make sure because of what happened, but it makes more sense. But, never the COVID talk, let's continue on. 
it today. Oh, no. Wow. I, she felt really bad. I know she doesn't like missing story time. But yeah. This is exactly because what we were going on. You know, when I started taping, um, uh, uh, 21 Days of Springcast Season 1, um, back in 2022, of December 20th at the time, I told Owen, Rio, um, Mario Master Monken, to our, a one of our Springcast at the time, yeah, Xavier, uh, that I tested positive for COVID. And, you know, that, and Rio's like, oh no, I'm so you that dude. And he's like, Mario's like, we need to, we need to, you, know, you guys to pray for him. And he's like, oh, it's like, um, already done. Watch this, guys. Thank you for giving me the feel better. It happened to me many times, but what, what the deal is, is basically, and I'm not going to say what the swear words and the made for kids content is basically, um, that true, but that's just me. Continue on. Better not to worry. Everyone gets sick now and then. Aw, poor yeah. I wish there was something we could do to help her. Oh, uh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, remember how Pops brought a gift for Mr. K? Maybe we could give Sadie something. Hey, what a good Yeah, that was a good idea. Video chat. Good idea. You know, uh, in the early days of COVID-19, um, um, uh, I don't want to say it in the May for Kids because I'll say it in a separate video, per se. But, you know, it's just, um... I just thought it was strange for me to say it, but I became lost from COVID. Um, and, and, and it was in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thinking, what does it do with this? But, you know, it was a lost year of the COVID but, uh, for me. And the tragic loss of, a, of one of my inspirations, Jim Lair, who sadly died before COVID happened, you know. Uh, who was a journalist at PBS News Hour, who co-founded the PBS News Hour and with the legendary Robert McNeil. Speaking of Robert McNeil, I wonder if he's is he still alive today, you know? You know? Yep, he's still alive today. He's gonna be 93 in about a few a few weeks from now. Continue on. Yeah. But it should be something she yeah, you know something? Yeah. Um, I just want to say something else, okay? Um, hold on. I just want to say something else about Say Sparkles, okay? Before I continue on. Um, I, I do, I, I have the positives, okay? Two of the are, are travel ideas. One was the travel ideas, and I did came back to the Bob Show Ray Fox audio. That was a big promise. So, there you go. Let's continue on. Yeah! Good! Anyway. Hey, that reminds me. Speedy brought something that could help with this. Okay. Cool. It's a notebook. Come on, if you have booth codes different. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah. We can write down the story in one of these. Maybe we can draw some pictures. Sadie loves pictures. Yeah! We'll yes. make her the best story ever! You have to get well home soon. You know, makes sense, uh huh? Once we think of one. Oh, you won't have any problem with that if you just use a little imagination. Yeah, exactly. That was exactly what you meant. Wow. Would you like to explore the deep ocean floor? See the fish and the whales and crustaceans. In your own submarine, you can watch everything. All you need is imagination. 
Wow. Close your eyes, throw your arms out wide, and picture what you want to do. A box is a castle, a towel's a cape, a ruler is a wand, it's up to you. You can lead the way in your own parade, or um, float that wow. shape like a dragon, marching right. Wow. All you need is imagination. All you need is imagination. Wow. Good. Mm, I think we really got something here. Magnifico. It's got everything. Action, thrills, laughs, drama. Yeah. It kind of makes a movie difference. I'm a huge movie buff per se. Because I was a... I was a huge film and TV. I'm having passion with film and TV. When I was a kid, um, I started to be a too dizzy kid growing up. So, there's your answer question anyway. Continue on. I don't know if she likes it. Yeah. Can you take it, you're all finished. We can't think of anything else. So, yeah. That's it. That's it. Well, if it's ready to go, why don't we give Sadie a call and read it to her? But wait, if she's on the phone, then she won't see any of the illustrations. Maybe the television screen. Makes sense, okay. True. But we could call her on something else. The vision board. Oh my god. I know it's something I don't want to do in LGBT ads, but this is a made for kids content, but oh wow, vision board, okay. What? It can call people? Well sure it can. It can do yeah. lots of things. And it doesn't even eat up any data. Exactly. No memory cards it could. Each of so every. But I was not cool. Barbie! Continue on. I'm listening. Uh, um, Sadie, can you hear us? Uh, is someone there? Huh. Oh, there is. Hello, everybody. Hey. Oh. Well, hey. You know something? That would be that would be cheerful and thoughtful. Makes sense. Continue on. Oh, that's so exciting! I can't wait to hear it. Me too. I wonder what it's about. Miss McKay, why don't you read it for Sadie? Um, me? Okay, sure. Mm. This story is called The Adventures of Captain Edward. Ooh. Okay. Upon a time, in the land of Bujawaza, there lived a fairy princess named Amy, the most beautiful maiden in the land. She was a great dancer and was excited to attend the royal ball with all of her friends. But there was just one problem. She was trapped at the DMV. Oh, DMV? Okay. Continue on. B? Yeah, my dad says that when you go in, you never come out. Uh, I see. How are the judges different? Okay, when he's like, um, you go to jail for that. Say bye to your. Oh, I can't remember the names. And Terra Toss. Yeah, come with a Toy Story. Continue on. <laughs> oh no, she cried. Mr. K, you gotta do the voices. Oh, right. <clears throat> oh no, she cried. I've been stuck here all day, and if I don't escape, I'll miss the royal ball. Whatever shall I do? Fairy Princess Amy started to weep, for she was sure no one could save her. But floating up in a space station was Captain Epic, with his laser cannon, rocket shoes, strength-enhancing spacesuit, and doctorate in astrophysics. He surely was the greatest superhero in the land. Uh huh. Wait, he's an astrophysicist. Yeah, even superheroes need their job. Yeah, yeah, it kind of like a Superman and an astronaut style, man. Do you want? Luckily for the princess, Captain Epic saw her in his super telescope. Hark, he cried. The fairy princess is trapped. He called upon his noble steed, Randy the Unicorn. Who is also a rope. Wait. Wait. Right, right. Okay. 
Is that a robot unicorn or something? Anyway, continue on. Come, Randy the Unicorn, who is also a robot. We must save the fairy princess before it's too late. Zoom, baby! Randy took Captain Epic all the way to the DMV, but in, outside the entrance was a huge fire-breathing okay. dragon. Wow. Oh, yeah. Isn't that rad? Captain Epic knew this mighty beast could squash him, but he was super-duper brave. You there, he said. I must get through. Yo-ho, the pirate dragon said. If you wish to Wait, wait, wait. Is these rainbows drawings different? Coming in. Um, and and now the words are... Uh, rocks ki us kids different from uh, Arthur. If you look at these PBS plugs, um, from Ar from Arthur on PBS, um, they have to say, and now from us kids, um, different, and it has some illustrations. Continue on. You must pay a hefty fee. Da da da. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, that sound effect you heard on the on in movies and TV. Continue on. Captain Epic knew this was serious if it rhymed, but he would use his big brain to prevail. What must I do? asked the captain. Oh, speaking of that, yeah, you see uh, the dragon have burned water for some reason on Jack's bit different. See you on. The pirate dragon replied, A toll from thee is what I need. Bring me a blender which has five speeds. Oh. A okay. blender? Yeah, of course. Don't question. Just keep going. Okay. So Captain Epic jumped on Randy's back once again and shouted. Wait, wait, wait. Kitchens are us? Speaking of which, it's, yeah. Backwards, he needs a backwards R instead of a forward R. How many of toys are what's different? Continue on. To the kitchen supply store. Zoom, baby. They flew all the oh, way Oh, and one more thing. Um, before, they, before he says something, um, Mr. K. Um, I think it kind of reminds me of, uh, a food lion, um, let's say, I don't know if it's right, so it's food, grocery store, okay, Publix, um, how to describe this, Kroger, there's another grocery store, I can't even think of the names anymore, there, are, and Toys for Life is different, continue on, come on, play, anyway. Each and every department, but they had to act fast, time is running out, meanwhile, at the DMV, Mary Princess looked at the clock and started losing hope that anyone would come save her. I'm looking at the clock and starting to lose hope that anyone will come save her, she <laughs> cried. Oh my god, you sound like a boy or something. Um, oh man, I can't really remember the name. Um, you sound like a chipmunk or something. Why is it Mr. K? I'm sorry, but that's what you sound like. Continue on. Dun, dun, dun. Again, sound like a movies and TV references. Continue on. Luckily, Captain Epic had returned from the store with a five-speed blender. He had returned with the blender he gripped. I'd be so glad I would do a kickflip, the pirate dragon happily shouted. Wait, well. when did he get a skateboard? Oh yeah, we cut that scene. Boop. The pirate dragon opened the mighty gates of the well. DMV, and Captain Epic finally rescued Fairy Princess Amy. She rode on Randy, the robot unicorn's back with Captain Epic, and was like, My hero, you and your steed will be guests of honor at the morning ball. <laughs> Come on, me the chipmunk! <laughs> Okay. Oh. Hold on. Let me play this on toys real quick, speaking of which. Um. If you're wondering what they look like. Let me open these photo pops real quick and I'll show you, okay? Um. Chip. Oh, no, no, that's Dale, by the way. Um, that's, um. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's just figure out what's happening next. Epic finally rescued Fairy Princess Amy. She rode on Randy, the robot unicorn's back, with Captain Epic, and was like, My hero, you and your steed will be guests of honor at the morning ball. And sure enough, they were. Everyone in the kingdom was there. Even the skateboarding pirate dragon who used his blender to make everyone some refreshment. <laughs> Look like yeah, exactly. Hang on. Oh, let's get to you on. Hero, you and your steed will be guests of honor at the morning ball. And sure enough, they were. Everyone in the kingdom was there. Even the skateboarding pirate dragon who used his blender to make everyone some refreshing smoothies. Okay. Yeah. And.
Wow, wow. Uh, and I want Mr. K being a chipmunk. That was one thing. <laughs> anyway. But do you know what I love most of all? You wrote it just for me. And there's nothing sweeter than a story from your friends. Wow. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, you're wow. Yeah. We're so glad you liked it. Wow. Next time, I'll make sure to have an extra special story for you all. Wow. I better get some rest, though. I'm getting a little sleepy. I'll see you later, everybody. Bye! Bye. Wow. You know, when you guys did Mercedes today, it was very thoughtful. Wow. Well, absolutely. You all knew that she wasn't feeling well, so you did something to make her happy. Uh -huh. Some of the most thoughtful things you can do for someone. Well, Satan always has a story to cheer us up when we're feeling down. Yeah. So why can we do the same for her? Of course. She's our friend, after all. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm back, folks. Sorry about that. I just had to get some water, and of course, I'm. I'm just gonna get to say this for the whole say story. Um, for Mr. K's watching. So anyway, um. Help me! Um, okay, let's cool it off, shall we? So we got for us. Great friends to her, too. Oh, oh and by the way, I got some more. I want well, pausing right there. But anyway, continue on. We better get going. My dad's gonna be here soon. Oh, we should, too. Oh, thanks for being a thoughtful friend to us, Mr. K. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, See you later. Wow. Bye. Bye. You know, one of the best feelings in the world is doing something kind for someone else. And... It doesn't matter if what you do is big or small. Being kind and being thoughtful shows you care and makes others feel yeah. simply amazing. Yeah, so. There is no such thing as being too small. Wow. Okay. You're never too small. You can do great oh. things nah, excuse me. when you give it your all. Just give it your all. Someday you will be simply amazing. Wow. You can make a mark when you set your mind to it. Just set your mind oh. to it. Mom. I know you can do it. And remember, don't give up. Always be kind. Follow your dreams and you will be simply amazing. You're simply amazing. Thank you, Miss K. We'll be filled with even more fun and kindness because you'll be there. Uh -huh. See you soon. Yep, exactly. South Mr. K's Clubhouse, season three, episode five, five full of kindness. It was amazing, simply amazing episode. So far, this episode was a success. Too bad that Say was sick, and despite what's going on next in this episode, but you know, I hope she gets better, but. We'll see what happens. Bell episode of LGBT episode 1,432. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. The next one will be LGBT episode 1,433, which will be about 
Miss Kay's Clubhouse, Season 3, Episode 6 will be about Camp Clubhouse. Till next time, so join us by Mr. Baby. We can watch the rest of the show. Till then, excuse me. Okay. Woo! The job was ain't out. See ya. Tomorrow, let's go. Okay, here it is. Found it. time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried. Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.